ekisoko mwai wa government kana ofisero ya wabu jingo na gama tawakanya bujingo msajja mulungi nyo era bamukolechi nenga atugamba ku yazo kulachi okuprosa chutinga ya mulese era gama bibizingu wambi so laba lino kobane lye nyinyi bebakoze okusoka ne lutalo roberti kane bakatako state nti tugende mu coach bujinga ala bikayo coach fana njaye gende yaze mu coach tumaitu mukolechi tumute era sinza kola gana okoko gana okitegeza omusa gona bagenda gufuti yanka mu nkola za bwezo Olaba after that yanga ati bino nagamba eno sikira ba mvayo nenga si yatenga chikiriranzi ko bagamba ati obera complainant government yokola chi ye kuchikirira kale government ye chikirira obujuzo bange bwe yasanze ku file onto omusajjo oyo mubinyo abugobi takati East Africa jakula mulane high court bino byo nabi proceeding bya bya koze ebyo bichibichi bibero bya gabi bino bimenya mateka obira mu chapter ya court wa high court ngo zombi jazigenda mu zombi jazigenda mu Ah ah kati bye byakoze bimala kati ari nyizo omusawo bwange gufirawo era nja bayi mirizo genda mmaso paka ensonga zange bizina bwo obujulizi bwange mbwina mbo kunganyiza nja kujja ku kufuruka namugambe mulamuzo oyo teri teka ligana dipi kuvuna na bujingo nange kwa musema teka chulu chikumwa abiri kategeza anti abantu abato abo buryo ba democracy okuteka yemisango so dipi wabakanyiza ndi utalo robert netted bajje ba buzo kwa Nangu kwanga yonkolechi bantu bale mbale mwe jimu byo mya buza musango twaile misange tamu tejagwa jagwa kati dino kobane nti isera kakati sija kukiriza bantu misango jino tambulira wamu nti abantu abenje olo bajikolachi bajiboza so bade omenyi wa mateka omulamzi tomwadde chance ezimara okuraba nga idabulula agent court nye kati yazze kubirala nnyo amanyi de buno busango bwa bulijjo bila mu abantu abatogera ati sidi katuyogera state yakogera nenga state bamuguze Siteti achuzi ya mkuzaga ame no objection Mkugamba nze nze ya mule ita mkoti Ayagana kumzita Ndi kuto yogera Ero mula mzi mluli ingi ya takonye kwa afida viti yangi Atenga afida viti ya mkugamba Edi mwenso nge afida viti ya mkugamba Afida viti ya mkugamba Zira ga omusaji ya mvinyo Omusaji ya tomota Omusaji ya mleke Investigation ziko zechi Ziwe Yes Ok Wadu wechi yala umrugane chibuzo I've disagreed with the with the, the manner in which the magistrate has handled the proceedings today, and it has been illegal, and I will challenge them, both in High Court and in the East African Court of Justice. Uh, simply because, one, that magistrate had application number three of 2022 before her. Atuli mulu zoom. I'm ready. Ready, ready. That's ready. Wait there, mulu zoom. Yes, I was saying I disagree strongly with the process which was going on today. The magistrate misapplied all the laws of Uganda, and the proceedings of today are illegal and void. And I will pray that. The court pronounces them both in High Court and in the Sovereign Court of Justice. Because one, this magistrate had an application before her to strike out the DPP's letter to take over my case. She failed to fix that application. She did actually give it a date, but she is coming to court and entertain the, the what the DPP. Secondly, she's saying that once the DPP comes to court, then she has taken over, which is of course illegal. You can you cannot say you cannot hear me, then you come and take over. Okay, as if that was not enough, then we come to plea taking because she allowed the DPP to, to amend her own charge sheet because a court has made a charge sheet. Then the Senator comes and says, I have amended it. Then when you come to bail, this magistrate has on record my affidavit objecting to the Bujingo's bail and authorities. I made my point so clear that actually Bujingo should not be granted bail. Bujingo wants to kill me. She speaks it clearly. Bujingo is going to interfere with all the, uh, with the, the, the investigations. The surety has brought Kaswaguli, so on. So they are, they are his workmates. There is a pastor who works in his church. How will you do that? But the magistrate, first of all, the state attorney, where I even object to him, acted as if he's, he's Bujingo's lawyer. Since he claims to be working for me, that his money has taken over, which I'm objecting to, I thought that he was going to base his arguments on my objection to bail on an affidavit on record. There's an affidavit I found yesterday. Now, he refused, he not only refused to refer to it, but even when I stood up and the magistrate was saying I cannot speak in my own case, she picked my affidavit and, and said, using my powers, I don't see any value in this affidavit. But this is my case. So what if I'm killed by Ujingo? 
oh by uh, 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 the magistrate wanted to bail. Would the magistrate compensate my family? So this was a lawless proceeding. The magistrate, I think, I don't know which laws she was reading, and I think they have to be challenged. Even that bail has to be nullified. Because how do you grant bail? Independence of an application challenging the takeover. But independence of an affidavit saying that this man is dangerous. This man has no place of abode within the jurisdiction of this court. Automatically, we are saying no. And they are saying naked, the naked bail is far away from here. The surety is none of them resides here. And the magistrate, I don't know, she's not give, giving any reason. She's not considering my affidavit. So I think that was illegal and unlawful. Sure. Hey, no, you, you did not repeat a you part of it. Are, are you are you are you going to Uganda? Are you going to Are you going to English? Are you going to because the DPP has taken over? Are you going to cooperate, give the evidence? Mm -hmm. I cannot cooperate with the DPP. Just with it, with it. Mm -hmm. I cannot cooperate with the DPP in this case. And uh, of course, right now, there is an application in the High Court. Ms. Inas was number 14 of 20, uh, 22. It's coming up on 28th, challenging the alleged takeover. By the, it's actually a U turn. It's not a takeover, it's a U turn. That's the magistrate on the file she's having. DPP told her, we are not taking over the matter. She's not reasoning out that. She's not even mentioning about it. But Sazit Ripi has just come to court and said, we are taking over. So I want to work with them. And you have seen, you have been able to see here in court that these guys are working for Jingo. The senators are working for Jingo. They had, if they're working for me as the complainant, they would rely on my affidavit. Objection to Jingo's bail. But instead, they are, first of all, they shielded it from court. They, they pretend as if there is no affidavit. After I, 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 I stood to speak, the magistrate prevented me from speaking. Then she picks it and says she's not, she, 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 she doesn't see value in the affidavit. So is, is this a Meriti's case? This, is this DPP's case or my case? So that's a question to be determined at a higher level, at higher court maybe, and the Supreme Court of Justice. What is the state of a criminal case? Is it a case for state attorneys who sit here or a case for the complainant who was aggrieved by the, <laughs> by the criminal act? So I cannot work with people because it means tomorrow when I, when I bring my evidence, they will say, ah, ah, this evidence is valueless. We are throwing it out. So th these are lawyers for Jim, and I cannot work with them. I cannot work with them. Yes. Take a look. 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 Take a look.